fine spirits meet. And today we have the Lafroig Four Oak. Mm, four Oak. If you'd like to know more about Lafroig, then please feel free to go to whiskey.com and learn about the Lafroig Distillery and its master distiller, John Campbell. Four Oak. Um, I've said a lot about the Lafroig and all that kind of stuff in the video before, so I'm gonna focus just on the bottle. Lafroig Four Oak. What is inside the bottle? We have 40% alcohol by volume, which is 80 proof, chill filtered coloring, and it was matured in four different barrels. Okay, let's talk about these four different barrels. We have X bourbon barrels, quarter casks, virgin American oak barrels, and European oak hawk's heads. Okay, let's start from the beginning. X bourbon barrels means they have um, had bourbon in them before. So you get a bit of that bourbon flavor like vanilla, caramel, and that kind of stuff. Quarter casks. Quarter casks compared to bourbon casks are very small. The bourbon barrels have, I think, 52 gallons, which is 200 liters. And the quarter casks, so oh, how much are the quarter casks? I think 125 liters or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Just better look it up if you want to know it. And they are a lot smaller, so you have more surface area compared to the whiskey, compared to bigger barrels, so you have more wood influence. So you get a, a, a very strong additive maturation and less uh, subtractive maturation. So it's going to be more intense, but also you're going to have the, the, what do you call it, the uh, more more intense, but also more of a spirit character that usually go, uh, gets reduced by the, the subtractive maturation. So you you might feel the whiskey is very awesome in flavor, but um, also it might lack in maturity. Um, Virgin American oak barrels. So this is just fresh American oak made into barrels. Um, so probably like the standard barrels that the American use for their bourbon, which gives you intense flavors because it's fresh oak. Fresh oak has the most intense flavor. So we're gonna look at uh, a strong bourbon flavor in there. Goes a bit more into the bourbon direction without the all the corn influence. So very interesting how this is gonna, this is gonna work out. And European oak ho hawks heads. Um, European oak is uh, more bitter, has more tannins, spicier, more deep flavors. And the hogsheads stands for a uh, rebuild of casks. So when you have a lot of casks, you deconstruct them, have staves, and then usually transport them somewhere. And deconstructed barrels are better to transport than constructed barrels. And then you, you rebuild these uh, barrels into hogshead, hogsheads again. So we have a, a very vari big variety and mixture of these, these, uh, these barrels. So what's going to dominate? Will the fresh American oak dominate? Will the wood from the small barrels dominate? Or maybe the bitterness from the European oak dominate? No, oh, little pamphlet for the friends of Lafroig. And it's a liter bottle, one of the big ones compared to this one. It's just thicker and uh, higher. Smoky, but it's a bit stinky. It's a very, very, very ripe fruit, I would say. Mm. And with a, oh, is that very ripe fruit or is that kelp? Bit of a seaweed note in there. I would say both in there. You have a bit of a marine note in there and a bit of a off gone fruit note. Off gone off fruit, I think it's called in English. Mm, 
very, very strange smell. I never had that kind of smell before. Hmm. 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 pretty pretty light it's a fresh light taste but you do oh now now it turns now it really turns into woody you get a little little bit of wood and then and then you really dive into the wood with a, a pine note an oaky note wow wow bit of a bit of a grass note in there as well like a and the, mm, and the heathery note mm, so Mm. But also a good smoke note and some some marine flavors, but they will tend to come uh, tend to come in the end when the smoke is increasing to the end. Mm. Mm. The start is is not that intense. I think that's because you don't have that much alcohol. But if you have if you have less alcohol, then you really really got to to experience the the middle part and the end more. When you when you have that the the wood notes and these these pine notes, oak notes, they they really build up. And, eventually come down and get replaced by the smoke mm. so it's a it's a nice roller coaster of different flavors mm. so if you find it one of these bottles i would say mm, i would recommend yeah have a try if you'd like to know more about whiskey and different flavors and find out your special whiskey, there is a flavor search on whiskey.com. Then feel, uh, go to whiskey.com and find your whiskey. Thank you very much for watching. And